Okay guys, I want to show you this big bag that I'm using as my bug out bag. As you know, uh, my bug out bag is an extended stay bug out bag. Um, personally, I don't see the uh, idea of running into the woods with a 72 hour or you know your standard three day bug out bag. Um, if you're gonna get from A to B, it makes sense. But um, if you're gonna run out of harm's way, it doesn't make sense to me. You have three days worth of supplies and typically in a shit at the fence scenario, food resources run out in three days. So the same time everybody else is running out of food, you're running out of food. And um, you know, watch episodes of uh, Naked and Afraid. You know, food's not easy to catch, so you might have to come back into town amidst all the chaos looking for food and water if you don't know what you're doing so um you know i'd say have a bug out bag that um can hold you for a while so that being said let me show you this bag it's a 50 liter bag right and uh, it's pretty cool man starting off with the bag itself look at it it's got uh basically this uh Molly webbing all over this guy. You can customize it how you want pretty much. I'll go into that in a bit, but uh, let's look at the straps, right? You put little uh, knickknacks or whatever you want all over if you want to. The straps are sewn in, really heavy duty there, right? That's going to be comfortable. You're going to carry something heavy. Well, you need it to be comfortable and well padded, and this is pretty padded, especially the back here. It's got uh, this belt here, and of course the chest straps. If you're going to carry something with weight, you need to strap it down really good. If it's loose, right, you can hurt your back. It's like when you have a weight vest or something, you, you strap that really good. And, uh, you know, something to move with you pretty much. So that, you tie onto you and strap it really hard on your back like hell. And, uh, you know, keep yourself from messing your back up in case you got to move fast, right? You can do that with this. You don't want to use like a regular old backpack. It's not going to work. But the bag itself... Let me show you what you got on the outside and then we'll get into the inside. You get um, two of these pouches on the side, removable. As you saw in my video, I used one. It was a uh, combination of fire kit and a food procurement kit. And the other was water, right? Water was, water is the most important thing of all. Without water, you're dead in a few days, right? So uh, basically I have one devoted just for water. But these, come on. right pretty large they have molly webbing on the outside too you can attach something onto here if you wanted to and a uh, little compartment in this bag itself i don't think you can see that i'm not sure but if you needed to whatever you could easily use a water bottle whatever you want to do got two of these right same thing two identical bags little compartment for whatever you may need it for. And pretty large too, I mean, fit both my hands in there and spread a bit. I mean, you know, probably can put most of my shoe in there, right? Um, pretty big bag. And then you've got, this is pretty cool, right? You get like a separate bag um, all together. Get this guy, which attaches on pretty secure. You got these buttons here, and then the Molly webbing, you pull that off. I got caught there. And you got this bag, pretty decent sized bag, right? And of course, straps and all that, you can uh, tighten it up. If need be, you have it packed up pretty good. Um, well, tighten it up, right? That comes in done. Got this small pouch here. And here's a belt. Got this little uh, compartment here if you needed it. You've got this large compartment, and that's that's pretty big, man. You can fit quite a bit in this damn thing. It's got two side compartments. Those are actually pretty decent size too. Molly webbing on the side there in case you needed to put something. Same here, same here. And you can pretty much attach this wherever you want it. You want to have it higher, lower, side or whatever. Same thing, Molly webbing all over. So if you wanted to 
however you want it to fix it up, however you want it to customize it, you can do that, right? Now the cool thing here is this attaches, uh, detaches off and you can attach this belt that it comes with, which uh, basically use these little attachments here and then you'd snap that too and you'd secure it and you'd have a little belt, right? Or you can turn it into like a shoulder strap if you wanted to, which is pretty cool. So basically, if you needed to, you could do that. However you decide to configure your bag, if you wanted to, say so you're gonna take a walk or something, firearm, a medical kit or something, I don't know, whatever you wanted to do, you got this little side bag. I got that one backwards, but uh, anyway, yeah, here we go. And uh, yeah, got a little thing for adventure, or let's say you had a, I used, this is a medical kit in mine. I can quick detach it and hand it over or do whatever I gotta do, get somewhere quick, right? Quick detach, that's my medical kit. And it can hold quite a bit. Now the bag itself, like I said, pretty darn big. And I just got this in, so it's still kind of flat. Again, all these straps and stuff, so you can basically fill it up and you would tighten it down, right? Keep it compact. show the inside of the sucker right here. Now, here we go. And this is a huge, huge bag, man. Got a big compartment on the side here. It goes all the way to the bottom. And then this just huge, huge compartment. You guys saw, I, I mean, I had a tent, I had lots of food. I had uh, all kinds of gear in there, right? And, you know, I think that's it. No, nope. got this big old compartment here too. This is the secondary. That's the main compartment there. And that's still all crushed because it just came in a real thin package. But anyway, that's a pretty large compartment too, right? And a little uh, pouch or whatever you need to put in there. But pretty cool, durable bag. And uh, like I say, you can fit a lot in this guy. Fit it in. Tighten it up, secure it, get it really crunched down, and tie it to your back really good. This sucker will hold a lot, man. And um, you can find this guy, oh, about 50 bucks or so online if you're really just looking. <clears throat> I'm going to leave a link in the description bar. If you're interested, you can pick up this bag and, uh, you know, there you are, man. I think it'd do you some good if you have a lot of different things. Or some of you guys, you know, also just keep in mind, just because you have a big bag, it doesn't mean that you want to fill it up, pack it up, you know, maximum. What you think you need. The good thing is you can put stuff in there and drop it as you go if need be. Change of clothing or something like that. They would uh, crunch it down as you went. Let's say there's some special clothes you want to put on like uh, me and the wife, you know, uh, anti-microbial uh, socks, underwear. Um, some pants, some, some military pants, you know, anti-tear pants, stuff like that. Um, some good shirts, stuff like that that you'd want to wear. You don't want jeans and a t-shirt and flip-flops or something like that, right? Um, so you could put that in there, grab your bag, go, and then change later if you wanted to go that route. But you could fit quite a bit in this bag, right? I was able to set this up, as y'all saw, to uh, take care of three of us three of us for a good while right and the whole thing was set up was like 27 pounds which is kind of heavy after a while but for three people three you know me the wife and a five-year-old that ain't too bad anyway again if you're interested in this bag I'm going to leave a link in the description bar and there you are right hope this helps out guys y'all have a good one